so in this lecture I will derive the approx power equation and power angle curve for a salient pole synchronous machine specifically a generator the case that if it is a P out will be positive if it is a motoring mode or if it is a generating mode and the power output will be negative uh, if it is a uh, in a uh, if it is in a uh, motoring mode so that's how the machine will be different either it can be a generator or it can be a motor so there are some assumptions uh, which I want to take here is that VA so the derivation is for phase A and will consist con consist of the phase voltage and phase current for A phase and this is a three phase machine so if I say that my power factor is equal to cos phi and VA is equal to my output phase voltage and IA is equal to my phase current at out for A phase then what can we said is that cos phi is my power factor so based on this it is possible to draw a graph by considering the VA as my reference and then if I draw a graph for IA and if this is my phi so based on this if I'm resolving it in two components so you're when you're talking of the salient pole machine it will have two reactants one along the quadrature axis and one along the direct axis known as XQ and XD So the IA will have two components, one at 90 degree, which is known given by IQ, and and one more at known given by ID so this is the two components and based on this it's possible to get what will be my if my J XD into ID and my JXQ into IQ this will give what is my delta here or the power angle 
and this is my E A which is a voltage generated. So this is how the phasor diagram for the circuit parameters per phase can be shown. So it has two additional components. One is a direct axis reactance and one is a quadrature, a quadrature axis reactance. So based on this figure it's possible to say that my ID is equal to IA of sine delta plus phi and my IQ is equal to my IA cos delta plus phi. If you resolve it considering this if you resolve it here and if you resolve it here this will be what will give you a cos and this will be what will give you a sine. So again based on what all we have derived so it's possible to get the power equation based on this. So again writing it VA was my phase voltage, IA was my current, EA was whatever voltage which was generated and XD was my direct axis reactance, XQ was my quadrature axis reactance and RA is the resistance of the armature or resistance of the phase A. So these are the parameters which I am listing here. So again based on this what equations on the graph what equation I got is ID is equal to IA of sine of delta plus phi and IQ is equal to IA of cos of delta plus phi. Now based on the circuit which I have discussed in the previous lectures the basic circuit it is possible to say that my V or my EA is equal to VA of cos delta plus IA into XD. This is from the phasor diagram which I just shown now. So based on this phasor diagram it's possible to show this. So if I say this was my first equation from the phasor diagram and this was my second equation from the phasor diagram uh, then it's possible to show that Also from the phasor diagram what you can show is VA sine of delta is equal to IQ XQ is equal to IQ of XQ cos delta plus phi and from this it is possible to show that my tan delta is equal to IQ XQ cos phi divided by Vt plus Ia of Ia I xq into sine of phi. So if I am substituting it then this is what I will get. So if my power developed is equal to 
IA into VT. So what I will get is based on what my IA is. My IA can be given as equal to IQ of cos delta plus ID of sin delta. So just drawing the facer diagram so that it becomes easy to understand the whole thing again. So if I am now taking if I'm now taking this to be reference if I'm taking this to be reference and if I'm considering this to be EG and if I'm seeing this is my VA and this is my IA and now what will be the perpendicular component will be my ID and along the X axis will be my IQ which will be which will approximately be equal to this or approximately equal to the amount this much so for this case so if you are drawing the graph it will be something like this will be the amount of IQXT and this will be the amount of IQ into XQ and this is what will be your delta and this is what is your phi so based on this graph it's possible to easily say that my IQ cos delta plus ID sine delta is equal to my IA so based on this what I can say is that based on this graph it's possible to say that my power output for A phase is equal to IA into EA or VA which can be into cos of phi which can be written as my IA is equal to or PA divided by IA is equal to VA of cos phi divided by VA is equal to IA of cos phi so when I'm writing this in this way it's possible to expand it as this if I'm writing it here it is possible to expand it as equal to IQ of cos delta plus ID of sine delta because my IA cos phi will lie somewhere here and which will be which will be given by the horizontal and the vertical components which is IQ cos delta and ID sin delta So again from the same graph you can say that your IQ into XQ is equal to your VA of sine delta and your ID into XD is equal to your EA minus VA cos delta because this is this minus what is your EA 
EA or EG whichever you are considering so based on that it's possible to again get these two equations so if I say this was my first equation in this case this was second and this was my third equation so it's possible to substitute these two in this and what you will get is known as your power equation PA is equal to EG into VA divided by XD of sine of delta plus VA square by 2 into 1 upon XQ minus 1 upon XD of sine of 2 delta so this is your final power equation for a salient pole machine and whatever graph you get is something like this for the power angle or P versus delta so it is not a sinusoidal graph but whatever you will get it will have some kind of a irregularity so this is the power equation of or how to derive the power equation for a salient pool machine